Welcome back everyone to Catherine's Plates where it's always simple, easy, and delicious. Today we are making a copycat recipe. We're gonna get the idea from Suddenly Pasta Salad. We're not using this box at all, but we're gonna recreate what's in the box. This is a ranch and bacon flavored pasta salad. So that's what we're gonna create. These are pretty popular and they come in different flavors. So it's a delicious side dish, but making your own is even better because who knows what all of these ingredients are. All right, I've got my water boiling. Let's go ahead and get our pasta started. And I'm gonna show you what I'm using. I've brought a large pot of water to a boil. We're gonna add two teaspoons of salt, flavor that water. All right, let's talk about the noodles. You can use the small shells or medium shells, which I'm using right here. This is 12 ounces. We're gonna add the noodles to our boiling water. We're gonna cook these per the directions on the back of the package until they're tender. I'm gonna give these a start, move these around a little bit for about 30 seconds. That will help them not stick. I'm gonna put my timer on for 11 minutes. About halfway through, we're gonna come back and I'm gonna show you what we're gonna add. It's the six minute mark. We're gonna go ahead and add half a cup of frozen peas. Ooh, get them all in there. And then we're gonna add in half a cup of shredded carrot. Now these carrots were already shredded. I just picked them up in a package like that to make my life a little easy. But they're gonna cook in there and get nice and tender. I'm gonna mix this together. Now we're gonna finish cooking the pasta until it's tender and then the vegetables will cook also. All right, let's drain our pasta and the peas and the carrots. We're gonna take some cold water. We're gonna run it over the pasta, the peas and the carrots. That'll stop the cooking process and cool down everything for our salad. Just keep running the water over it until everything is nice and cooled down. All right, we're gonna shake out the excess water I'm going to blot it dry with a little bit of paper towels and then we'll put it into a medium sized bowl. Let's make a delicious dressing for our homemade pasta suddenly salad. In a medium bowl, we're going to add half a cup of mayonnaise or I'm using Miracle Whip. Now Miracle Whip is more sweeter than your regular mayonnaise. All right, let's add that to our bowl. To our Miracle Whip or mayonnaise, we're gonna add in three tablespoons of ranch seasoning mix. I have my own homemade mix right here. Now, if you wanna make your own homemade ranch seasoning, I have it on my recipe blog, catherinesplates.com, and go check it out. All right, we're gonna add one, two, and three. We're gonna add two tablespoons of milk. We're gonna whisk this together. Mm. All right, let's move this stuff out of the way and get our bacon ready. This is an easy salad to put together. Easy, easy. We're even gonna be using these chopped bacon. All ready prepared for you. You know where you can find these in your salad aisle that has the dressings and croutons. 
we're going to add about three tablespoons or you can make your own bacon and crumble it in about three pieces all right i'm going to just use a whisk so i don't get the bacon stuck in there i'm going to give that a taste though mm. taste that make sure you don't need any salt or pepper in there i'm going to have my husband try give that a try and tell me what you think this is your last effort here to flavor it up. Ooh. That's good, huh? That's good. He likes it. Tangy. Tangy. Mm. Yummy. All right, I'm just going to go in with my Miracle Whip spoon here, blending that bacon. Try some of that bacon. Yeah. Let me see. What do you think? It's bacon. I'll show y'all. That's how big it is. We're going to add our mixture to our pasta. Now, if you want it thinner, you can add another tablespoon of milk. I'm going to leave it just the way it is. That way it coats everything really well and your dressing doesn't wind up on the bottom of your bowl you know, at the end. Let's mix it all together. Doesn't this look good? You just made your own homemade copycat version of a suddenly salad bacon and ranch flavor. I had somebody ask me if I could do a macaroni salad that was different for the summer that had bacon and ranch in it. So here you go. All right, here is my recipe on katherinesplates.com for my buttermilk ranch dressing mix. Now you can substitute the buttermilk, the dry version, and use the dry milk for it if you don't like the buttermilk flavor. What do y'all think? Hardly any effort at all. Perfect for any summer event you have going on, picnics, <laughs> barbecues, 4th of July coming up. We got Labor Day coming too. All right, let's bowl this up or plate it up. Mmm, look at that. Put it in your refrigerator, chill this out, or grab a bite right now, which I'm fixing to do. With that bacon in there. There's my bite. Mmm, that's good. Love all those flavors going on in there. That Miracle Whip just kind of gives it a little zing, right? A little difference than the mayonnaise. You don't need this, and you certainly don't need all of that. <laughs> just this right here with some simple ingredients. All right, you guys, give me a thumbs up on this one. Make sure you comment down below. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification. That way you'll always know when shows like this one here are posted. I'll see y'all on the next episode. Bye. Mm.